How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to another Let's Play Mac Quest episode and for today's episode, first things first, okay? So I read through a lot of your comments on the previous video and first of all we are going to be getting two things, okay? One is a Mac that scales to our level because apparently nowadays you can get that for free and on top of that I'm also going to be getting a new energy blade because energy fights seem to be a big problem for us. So uh, to get energy blade I believe you can go all the way to the right hand side here and then you can just buy it from this shop okay lightsabers grand opening yes you had a grand opening for years already <laughs> okay so ooh. 2 to 8 okay this is pretty crappy uh I can't remember where else you can get an energy blade I believe from one of the like Romero planets or something like that uh, but I think it's best if we wait until we get black belt before we spend our credits. Okay, I want to spend it wisely. Let me check out the uh, other... Now let's go ahead and check out the max first. Maybe we will finish up energy blades today. I don't know, just so we can get a blade and not uh, get screwed over by all of the boss fights. Okay, so let's go downstairs, ride the Florivator. Okay, did I turn on the sound? Oh yes, let's turn it back to 60 first. So you guys don't go deaf. Okay. Uh, birthday Mecca. Hold on. Party closet. Which one do we want? Silver token. Hmm. Oh, are these all Nova gems? Okay. Okay, win a golden or silver Mecca token. Nice. Mods. <clears throat> okay, I don't think you want to spend money on mods yet. Okay, mods is sort of like a end game kind of thing in Mac Quest. It boosts your stats. Usually, it's not enough to make a significant amount of difference unless you have like Star Captain or Nova Gem mods. But for regular mods, I would advise holding off on getting them until you reach max level. All right. So we'll get our. What do you want to get here? Level 10 version? <coughs> Wait, hold on. There's a golden Nubatron version, right? I know there's a golden Nubatron version that's like free or something. Is it the birthday one or the golden one? Hmm. Uh huh. Years parties. What is this? Oh no 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 no! Wait, hold on. There's a golden version, isn't there? Am I missing something here? Where do I get a golden version? You know what? We'll just go ahead and play this. This is a mini game. Okay. Scrap needs a coach for our cake and eat cookie eating contest. So you just move your mouse around, collect the cookies and the cakes, and don't hit the fish. Okay. Bonus points are either for bigger sweets or subtracted for bigger smellier fish. Okay, so let's go. So basically, just get as many as you can. And of course, you want to get the big ones. Oh, whoops. Whoops, a daisy. That was bad. And you grow bigger, so it's easier to get the good stuff, but also easier to hit the bad stuff. And I think you have to last all the way until the end or something. Yeah, it's literally impossible to hit the bad stuff. Like, no, no, it's literally impossible to avoid the bad stuff at this point. It's very, very hard as you grow bigger and bigger. And you can see here your HP bar is relative to your uh, own max HP bar at the bottom here. So, once your HP bar reaches zero, then yeah, it's pretty much the end for you. But I need to wait until the timer reaches zero in order to win. So, do keep that in mind. It might be a good point to not grow that big so you don't die. But I think we did pretty well. 14,242. Price shop open. Let's look at the price shop. Okay, zero credits. This one. Uh, this is for Star Captain. So we'll get the silver token. And then we'll quit. I don't know. Can we get the birthday mech? Let's try. Uh, party. Wait, hold on. Uh, 
Okay, we want to get this version, I guess. Neobertron V1337. Okay, so let's buy this. Oh, it's only 50 credits. Very, very cheap. Now let us upgrade it. I wonder if we can equip it though. I don't think we can. Let's see here. Yeah, we can't equip that yet, unfortunately. There is a golden Neubertron somewhere. But I can't remember where exactly. I really, really can't remember where. Okay, you know what? Let me just pause the video here and go and check out the comments again. Okay, I went to check and I think the new uh, golden mecha is no longer here. But anyways, we don't have one for our level yet. We are really too low level. And you can get energy blades from the Frostville events or the Friday the 13th events. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, uh, let's see here. Can this end E blades? 7 to 17 laser. Oh, we don't even have enough money to buy that. Yeah, this is a really good item. Okay, let's do the Sniga Mecha. Yeah, we are, we are really too low level to even buy anything at all. Holiday Peppermint Stick, 7 to 17, 9 to 19. Okay, so yeah, first of all, we have to go ahead and get more money. That's one. And second of all, we have to go ahead and uh, do... Go ahead and finish up the quests and level up so we can get the so we can at least use the higher level mechas, okay? Right. What shall we do today? Let's go to the other side and explore more jobs. So previously we explored the pizza, the police, the hospital jobs. I think there's one more, the museum one, but I think the museum one it will be a lot better if you had like a proper energy blade or something like that. Okay, this is the knife and spock challenges. It's sort of like MQ's version of the in. Okay, early game in. Okay, late game in, there is the new planet that came out right before MQ got abandoned. Okay, that one, very, very, uh, some very interesting challenges, which I did cover before on my channel. In fact, that is probably like one of my top 20 view videos on my channel, the MQ uh, New Planet challenges right before uh, the game got abandoned, okay? So let's go ahead uh, to the Soluna City Museum. Let's help. Excellent. I've located three ancient ruins. I'd like to explore them to search for interesting items. This is going to be an extremely exciting and dangerous task. No one has set foot in these ruins for millennia. Very good. I can see the spirit of adventure resides in you. Get ready to explore. Let's go. Uh, Weapon wreck. Ooh, we can access our weapon right here. And for some weird reason, Tanto does not load up. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with it, but apparently you can't equip your uh, weapon from your energy vet. Or at least it doesn't show up. Usually it shows up. Maybe it's bugged or something. Okay, and this quest really does bring back a lot of memories because I played this quest a whole lot when I was younger and this is like one of the toughest jobs to level up from my memory okay so uh, it's very interesting to see this again easy peasy now we have to continue on foot <laughs> this is why it's the hardest nope Okay, okay, we'll try that again. I don't know what the heck am I doing, okay? That was very bad. You can see why this is the hardest, because there's like nothing to stop you from uh, running to in front. Maybe it's just me clicking a bit too fast. And there's some pattern to the traps, so keep that in mind. This one, if you're unlucky, I think you have to fight some Shadow Scythe. No, we don't. Okay. Oh god. Nope. Oh, there's a free pass now. I did not notice that. Come on. Okay. I believe I can do this without the stupid free pass. Oh. I'm really not paying attention to the patterns here, am I? 
Okay, I need to run forward all the way to three. Ah, oh, oh God! You have to start again. <laughs> no, what? Screw that! <laughs> Thank God for the free pass. Okay, that crystal shard emits an icy energy field. I need to study this further to know how to classify it. Okay, really bad. You can see why this is the hardest. Okay, desert. I try desert. I believe this one is the one, the floor one. I think the desert is the easiest one out of the three. If I remember correctly, or at least that's what I feel, because the floor traps are easier to avoid as compared to the stupid jungle traps. Let's go again. Okay, so it just goes like that. So you just run forward. <coughs> okay, this one I... Oh, okay, we have the Tanto equipped now. This one, uh... I believe you have to click the flames in the right order or something, or we just wait. And stay perfectly still and then the walls for some reason they'll get blocked off by themselves So as long as you don't move you should be able to uh, Win if if I remember this correctly Not doing very well Come on we need to farm up more gold so we can afford to buy some better weapons This crappy energy blade is really crap Nice. Voice booms. The light of the true flame shall be your salvation. And really, all you have to do is just keep perfectly still and watch the magic, okay? Look at this. Nice. Easy, right? So you can see why this is the easiest out of all three of them. Okay, you don't have to do anything and we found the Triceratops right toe. Nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at... Oh, now we have the Tanto. Okay. Okay, for some weird reason that didn't show up the first time. Ocean. Let's explore a temple in the ocean. Uh, You can do the dive or you can skip the dive. Okay. Detector a school of enormous jellyfish. You'll need to avoid them. Okay, so for every jellyfish you hit... Oh. And... Uh, you will lose HP and I think you need to do a mech battle afterwards and oh god The jellyfish will actually charge towards you. I did not know that There is also the option to skip the dive which is very nice because this can be quite a lengthy mini game, Especially if you are trying to go ahead and uh, Just level this thing up as quickly as you can or if you're just not very good with the controls Then uh, maybe you might want to skip the mini game here. It's not too hard as you can see Clicking doesn't do anything, you can't fire at the jellyfish or whatnot. Ooh, ooh. God, It's only 3 damage per jellyfish but If you get hit too many times then yeah that could be a problem God, okay they're getting a little bit faster, oof Oh come on Okay so we did it According to ancient stone tablets, this is the approximate resting place of the legendary Katu Achu. Hey, what's that huge bleep on your sona? Here we go, Katu Adept. Plus 10 bonus, nice. Let's do the like this gun. Retractable rifle. Looks like we have to skip. Get Ling Gun again. Nice. Easy, guys. According to our scanners, that temple has breathable air inside due to some sort of enchantment. You should go in there and check it out. Of course. Eight. Ooh, very nice. Nine. Wow, very good damage all of a sudden. Quite happy. Okay. 
I think the first thing new players should do is really go ahead and level up the energy blades. You know, level up your own level, save enough money and get a good energy weapon. As for the max, I guess when you reach like level 10, you can do the birthday new and all that. You only have to spend 50 gold and uh, play one simple mini game. It's really that easy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and probably like just rush to level 10 as well as rush getting some gold while doing the energy blade quests at the same time so that we don't struggle as much in the uh, when we are doing the other stuff okay oh no the squid is pretty upset that you are trespassing in the temple you must fight it in your mecha don't worry the yellow duck marine repair your mecha while you are in the temple yay and now we fight Katu Achu okay this guy is actually pretty tough and I want to start with the uh, gatling gun first so we will always be able to you know oh of course he can stun as well how could I have forgotten so we can always have something to attack the enemy with. Let's do this. Nice. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to win as long as it doesn't stun lock you. I don't think he can stun lock you though. So yeah, let's do this again. Retractable rifle. Oh, the stun did screw us over just now, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, we got stunned anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. The bad news is that this guy can essentially stun lock you if you get super unlucky with the stupid in ink attack. So do keep that in mind. And that is the end of Katu Achu. Come on. Nice. Easy Triceratops. Right foot. Excellent job. That fossil you found will be displayed in the museum. You see? <sighs> How easy is desert and ocean, but jungle is so ridiculously hard. Maybe it's just me, maybe I just freaking suck. But, yeah. Ooh, Velocity Mecha. This is one of my favorite mechas in the game, actually. I think it's very cool, like the uh, animations and all that. Okay, not that one. The one whereby he calls down the dinosaurs. I think that the animation is super cool. And of course, he has the one whereby he jumps up in the air and then just starts to slice you. That one is pretty cool as well. Nope. Come on, use use the offensive attacks. I want to see. Yeah, this this is one of them that I really like. The other one I really like was the one he jumps in the air and then just slices you apart. That one is really cool as well. Okay, but it looks like we have to wait because all our weapons are on cooldown. Should do it. Done. Now we'll try and play a little bit better this time. Let's hope we can get past the stupid mini game. Okay. Whoops. Come on. Why? Okay, I didn't run fast enough. You need to run fast enough. Okay, this one, huh, I'm not entirely sure how to even get past this. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it now. What? Not fast enough. Hmm, the hitbox is not super clear. Okay, you look at the shadows on the ground and... Ooh, nice! We got past it! We got past it, guys! Okay, very nice. Oh god, I swear if I die to this stupid Shadow Scythe monster here, I will be pissed. Okay, so it looks like we are doing pretty well with the Tanto weapon. A lot better than your basic energy blade. I believe this should be the end of the quests. To come on. Please don't do this to me. I know we're just playing around with the side quests right now, but in MacQuest, there's no clear, like, there's no super clear way on how do you progress through the story, and you do need to get some better stuff first before you start on the story, or not, uh, the story can get a little bit hard, okay? Especially for the later planets. Okay, so that's the end of that. After all of that, we failed the stupid roll. Damn. You didn't find anything, don't give up. I believe there is more to be found in these ruins. Liberty, give it. I think we have found everything there is to find this ruin. <laughs> okay. Right, you can see our progress here. Triceratops skeleton. 
Okay, and by far, the fastest way to level up inside of Mac Quest is uh, actually, believe it or not, using the battle button. Random battles. Yes, guys, this is actually the fastest way to level up in Mac Quest. So we'll just go ahead and do this. Now, unfortunately, we cannot use the uh, extreme version or the hard mode to give us better uh, rewards because only Star Captains will be able to do that. But even at lower levels, I'm not sure if you'll be able to beat those. But yeah, uh, one more we should level up, I think. Small increase your mood, of course. 50% bonus damage, very nice. Level up? No, still no level up. Maybe one more. Wow, okay, we really don't get a lot at this level. Minus 30 defense is huge at level 4, just saying. Happy days! Oh, nice, we managed to stun the monster. Very nice. Okay, the rifle should kill it. Okay, by the way, when this countdown reaches 0, he'll deal a huge amount of damage. Okay, and let's see how much damage he'll do. 85 here. Ooh, and we get stunned as well. Wow, that is bad. Okay, still kill this guy easily. Yep, there we go. Level up, come on. Yay, finally. Bad on, alright. Now, uh, leveling up this way can be pretty long and boring. And of course, you want to do something as well while you're leveling up along the way. So, you know what? Maybe what we'll do is we'll go ahead and explore some of the other classes at the Gears University. Wait. Hold on, this one, I believe I clicked on this by accident. Not corrupting corruption. Oh, let's go to the Gears University. Oh, I haven't explored this part yet. Strange sticky webbing up ahead. You can defeat the Mega Spider over here. The Mega Spider is level 8, so I guess it could be good for lower levels. We'll try it out. He does do quite a lot of damage, so I'm not sure if I can beat it. Yeah, look at that crazy amount of damage. Okay. Minus 24 to boost. Oh god. Yep, he can stun you as well. That's the thing. I don't think we are strong enough to beat the spider yet. Maybe if we get lucky, the... No. That is not what I meant by getting lucky. Okay, yeah, we are not sure enough to beat the spider yet, but that's fine. Let's go to classes. Combat theory, you no. Know, mecha piloting. Okay, this one is the one that changed your stats, right? So what I want to do is change my power stat. Let's train. Power stat increases your damage, so you definitely want to train that. 140 gears trainer. Okay, we'll do this first. How much HP does this guy have? 140, right? Wait, 122 out of 100. Okay, weird. Retractable rifle. Do get Ling gun again. Now, unfortunately, we have to skip a turn. We have to skip two turns. That is not great. Happy days, nice. Now let's finish it. Okay, done. So we have trained 10 power. It increases your damage by a little bit. Stats in Mac Quest are not a super big thing, okay? Uh, because they don't really increase your power by much, okay? A lot of people like to train efficiency as well to decrease EP usage. But for lower levels, I think that is not uh, that useful, okay? So we'll just train power. Small defense again. Wait, do we actually need to pay money to train? I don't think we need. 
Okay, the good thing about Mac Quest is that I don't think you need to pay money to change stats. So that's kind of good, I guess. Nice, 28. Very good damage there. Okay, in fact, you even get money for training stat points, so that's really good. Let's chain more power. We are just going to chain power all the way because I just want more damage. What's a fast way to level up in Mac Quest? Do you guys know? Please let me know if you guys do. Because this leveling up is super duper slow. Just, like, just look at this. This is crazy, dude. I feel like I want to try and fight the spider again. Maybe we'll buy one more weapon and then we try and fight the spider. The spider being level 8 and us being level 5. I believe the spider does give a good amount of EXP and gold. If we can beat it. Okay, you can see our weapons here uh, clearly dealing quite a lot more damage as compared to without the stats. I mean, it's obvious at lower levels, but once uh, at the lower levels, it is not that obvious. The damage gain that you get. Okay, so we'll go to hometown. Maybe we'll buy one more weapon. I know we shouldn't be buying stuff anyhow at lower levels, but we'll just go ahead and try and buy one more weapon. Maybe buy a back arm or something. Use Gatling gun, no. Uh, switch gun, no. Glockhead. All of these are front arms. Back arms. Smoky flamethrower. Only 20 credits. Let's go ahead and buy that. Okay. This one. Uh, 4 rounds of additional burn damage. Very nice. Now let's try for the spider again. I thought you can click on it to go to the Gears University. Oh, you have to walk up to here. It's kind of hard with the new event buttons in the way. Okay, now let us try fighting the spider again. This time I want to do smiley face. Then we want to do the flame chore because the flame chore does dot damage, which is good. Do we stun? Nope. Nine only. Hmm. We did get a burn damage though, so at least that's good. 50% extra damage, okay. Oh god, please. Oh no, it stunned us. Minus 32 to boost. Not very obvious. Yeah, the flamethrower is not that great, I think. And I'm going to need... Please, this can stun. Oh, we stunned it. But I think it's a little bit too late. Don't think we'll be able to kill it. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Very close though, 29 HP. If we got two stuns off, maybe we could have won it. Shall we try again? Let's try again. I feel like we just need to get lucky with the smiley face weapon. Nope, no, no luck at all. Retractable rifle, 50% damage. Nice, very nice. Let's do the machine gun because this is a lot of damage. And also draining the the EP, though not very useful. Okay, so yeah, we are the ones that keep getting stunned. That is not great. Five burn damage. That is bad. Nah, if we, if we actually got two stuns off, we could have won. If the spider didn't get a stun, and if we got two stuns off, that would have been a win. So, no. Unfortunately, no. Mm, what do I want to do now? Let us continue leveling up the energy blades. I feel like leveling up the energy blades is probably our best way forward. Because once we leveled it up, we can get a lot better weapons. Hold on. I forgot to equip my Tanto. And I forgot to equip the uniform too. I hope that doesn't come to bite me back. It gives me like a plus 5 to rolls. You know, as little as that may be, but it sort of helps to mitigate a little bit of bad luck. 
even if it's just a little bit, it's better than nothing. Oh, miss. Damn. Come on. The thing about these classes is, is just literal RNG and uh, until you win the entire thing. It's quite hard to lose. I, oh. One. A freaking one. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you even believe this? And holy crap, we are doing not fantastic damage. What just happened? It's like putting on a uniform suddenly decreased our damage by a lot. Wow. Is this just bad luck? Guys, are you seeing this luck? Right here? Oh my gosh, you are kidding me, right? First, a super low roll. Now, super low damage. Okay, we still managed to beat him, thankfully. I do not know how. For some weird reason, we did. I mean, you get a 5 persistence bonus. So, that's RNG mitigation for you right there. 9. Okay, finally something good. 8. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This training globe hits hard. Two. Oh god. Three. Oh, this will be very close. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, that eight though. That freaking eight. When can we unlock the next one? Twenty-five. Some are star captains only. Fifteen. Wow. Oh wait, 10. We unlock the next one at 10. Let's do it until 10. Oh, Master Tank. I don't think we can beat him though. Once he starts to glow red, you want to use the uh, defend and then you'll dodge most of his attacks. Because that attack is super duper strong. But yeah, you just look at the amount of damage this guy is doing. This freaking Darth Maul wannabe. This, this is crazy. Yeah, there's, there's no way you're beating Master Twang. I have no idea why Master Twang even shows up in random encounters. It's literally just die. Because there, there is no way you can beat him before you even reach Black Belt. Like, like just no way, dude. Of course, you get someone with a Psy, which is a level 15 weapon to fight off with me when my skill level is only level 6. By the way, this is a really crappy weapon. I think the best one uh, out of all the weapons I've used so far is the machine out oh, the weapon rack yeah the side is actually a worse off weapon in my opinion when i used to use it previously you get a super large damage range but it is like so inconsistent like you're almost never hitting the large damage range the side uh the machine on the other hand it's quite a small damage range but uh it's it's pretty consistent damage it's like three to nine or something like that so it's actually pretty good damage all things considered Nice. Seven. Okay, three more to go. Let's go. And as you level, I believe these uh, things hit harder or start to get a little bit more HP. I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe it's even both. But yeah, it gets harder as you level up. It's definitely not the same difficulty uh, from level 1 all the way up to level 35. Okay, this should be an easy win. And skip. Nice. Okay, very nice. Eight. Two more to go. This was also one of my uh one of the mini games that I enjoyed more. Simply because I am a huge Star Wars fan, so the fact that you yeah, had to play around with lightsabers, uh, it really excited me as a kid. It's still a lot of fun right now in my opinion because, you know, you're just slashing away with an energy blade. 
If you don't find that fun, then something is wrong. Come on. How can that not be fun? Can you imagine if we have this in real life? How fun would that be? I mean, of course, it'll literally be one slash and that's it, but you, you guys get the idea, right? Oh no, are we going to die to the training globe again? Come on, man. Duke had no problem beating this when he was like a white belt. Okay, we are talking about Star Wars context. Okay, last one, please. Make it easy for us. Okay, doing quite good damage. Oops, spoke too soon. I think we can try out the uh, mecha. There's there's one more class, the mecha theory or what's it called. We can try that out before we end off the video. This is going to be a slightly longer video, but I hope you guys enjoyed the longer sessions because I only do these. Uh, I only do this Let's Play series like once every two weeks, so I don't mind making a slightly longer video uh, each time I make one. And there's quite a lot of content to explore in Mech Quest as well. We are like not not even anywhere near. Halfway through. Okay, uniform bonus. Nice. Yay! And we unlocked a new weapon. Yeah, 3 to 9 damage. This, in my opinion, is the best energy blade. Okay, let's see if we can fight. Uh, if we can fight Master Twang again. I believe this weapon is actually strong enough to beat Master Twang. I'm not sure if I've beaten him before with it, but... I think it is uh, strong enough if you get lucky. If you get lucky. I think as a kid, I've beaten Master Twang using this weapon before. Not a lot of times, but I think I've done it before. That That is how good this weapon is. I could be wrong, don't, don't quote me on that, but I think it is possible to beat Master Twang using this weapon. Let's see if we can find Master Twang again. Nope. No, we'll just flee until we find him. Come on. Now when I want to face him, you don't you don't give me Master Twang. Come on man. Oh, here we go. Okay. Of course you also need to rely on a little bit of RNG. If he does some crazy damage then yeah, there's there's no hope for you. Okay, uh I believe you can strong attack one more time. Defend. Kinda close though, kinda close though. You can see here, kinda close. Maybe if you use defend a few more times instead of strong attack, maybe that would have been better, but uh, yeah, all in all, I'm quite happy with that performance. Okay, let's go back to lobby and we'll explore one more class first. Uh, Mecha Combat 101. This is the basic one, right? One out of 11 classes. I do not care what you score on your entrance exam. <laughs> Although your score was pretty impressive. In the future, you are expected to be on time. Else, I'll feel you right out of my class. You may now take your seat. At least she is not going to make me wear a silly hat. As punishment for being late, you must wear this hat. Of course, the dunce cap. I am now going to pass all our tests and show what I am really made of, just you wait and see. So yeah, we were late for the class and that's why we had to sit in a corner with a stupid dance cap on our head. Now where was I? Oh yes. So please open your books to page 5,772,445. Let's start. Uh huh, that is a super thick book. Defeat a single opponent in a completely safe training battle which will take place in unescapable battle arena using live ammunition survivors may continue on to the next class boom win that sounds a hundred percent safe indeed guys very very safe so we'll do this first nice we got a stun smoky flame thrower let's lay on some dots how many turns do the dots last for oh five turns not bad not bad at least a machine gun now Nice. Good job, we passed the test. Okay, next lesson. 4,449,880. Uh, 
Why are we going backwards? Interesting. Recommended level 4. Defeat 2 level 3 opponents without repairing your mecha in between. Okay, this will be a little bit harder. Let's do the smoky flamethrower for the dot. And let's finish it off with the getting gun. I think we should be able to do it two in a row, right? Okay, yeah. Thank god they don't have a super lot of HP or deals a super large amount of damage. So we should be able to do this. Flamethrower again for the dot. Ooh, 12. Very nice damage right there. See, can we get a bonus damage? Nope. Oh, but the burn killed it. Nice. Yeah, we seem to be going backwards. Now it's page 2 million something. 3 low level opponents. Okay, you know what? I think we'll call it a day. It's 40 minutes long. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this short mech quest. Uh, Let's play episode, okay? We don't really have an end goal yet. We are not really moving on to the story much because I don't really know. What is the next part in the story? Okay, uh, map. You look at the map here. Solaris is the sun, so you can't fly there. Check the what? Check the story guide button from the new screen for help. Huh. Story guide button. Uh, hold on, hold on. Where is the story guide button on the new screen? There is no story guide button. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't see the story guide button. Am I blind? Am I blind, guys? I think the next one is you probably have to talk to Dean Wallach or something. Okay, so we'll go ahead and explore that two weeks later. And anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corban Gaming. Peace out.